The question of who is the focusing energy of the messages is a difficult one to answer tactfully and yet completely. Isness is the focus to be sought by each individual awareness. As each expands within the process of self-identification, so does the ability to allow the flow of isness to move through their experience. Each will attract into their awareness knowledge to live into wisdom. The vibratory rate of the planetary environment and the members of humanity on Earth is low enough that this ability is currently virtually inaccessible. To assist willing members of mankind to access the necessary information to provide a way to transcend this current aberrant state, various volunteer awareness points within higher vibrational frequencies have acted as booster stations to focus this information to those willing to participate on the Earth plane. Knowing the custom of Earth's inhabitants requiring the personify to identify mode, names from the exotic to the ridiculous have been given as sources of this information. The information includes exercises in discernment. Most participants failed the discernment test. Much was filled with profound truth, but much of it was drained of energy by the continual parade of victims, wanting their personal problems solved for them. The information became distorted as the focus was withdrawn, and the volunteers winged it, or faked it on their own, for their sincerity was lost in the notoriety and the greed that resulted. In view of this history, it was a mutual agreement between the parties involved in the dictation, translation, transcription process for these messages that the identities of the focus involved would remain undisclosed and there would be no monetary rewards whatsoever involved. Further, there would be no personal information disseminated for anyone's individual benefit. The totality of the focus involved is for the benefit of the planet and its inhabitants, period. The truth of the messages is to be discerned and used for the benefit of humanity first and then gleaned by the individual to apply personally as part of the wholeness to which it is focused without the necessity of personal names to identify truth. Not understood? Then the messages need to be read again to transcend this need into commitment to the holographic intention of the information they contain. It is hoped that the succinctness of this message is accepted in the tone of importance to which it is intended. The window of opportunity to accomplish the necessary monumental conscious transition is small compared to the obstacles within the human belief systems that must be literally dissolved so that the whole may be transformed. It is sincerely hoped that the truth contained will be a sword that cuts through the armor of deception and lays open the hearts and minds of the necessary quotient for success. It is time now for the people on earth to begin preparing for the planned changes in earnest. Many prophecies have been given to you, so many as to be confusing. This has made it possible for most to do nothing because how could they prepare for so many different possibilities? It is imperative to begin with the most basic steps. Consider what are your most basic needs of man in the particular climatic region that you live in. Where you are with winter coming in would be food, warm, shelter, and water. If warm should be critical, it should be addressed. Let's take a hypothetical example of an earth change, disaster. Suppose there was an especially severe winter storm in your area. This would be a storm that involved high winds, extreme cold, and quantities of blowing and drifting snow. The electrical power would, of course, be cut off. Even if gas was available, it would be unavailable to you unless there was a gas-powered fireplace. Without electricity, you could not cook on your electric stove. There would be no electric lights. The streets would be impassable, and probably telephone lines would be out. So you could contact no one. What would be your plan? Have you even thought of one possibility through to this extent? I suggest that you have at least basic emergency supplies available at home, or perhaps in your auto, as you are seldom anywhere without it being close by. A camp stove with fuel, some canned or dehydrated food, sleeping bag, and most of all, water. Be sure all is in working order. Test everything to make sure you know how to use it. See that all parts are there. Know what it is that you would need to do. Watch your weather forecasts and be aware that any potential storm can be strengthened and steered. Instruments are in place and in use with the sophistication to do this. The heart. In as much as we cannot interfere, we cannot protect you from this possibility. Of course, this discussion is centered on only one of the many possibilities. 
You may expect that these to be happening around the planet as equipment is tested in order to understand its capabilities before coming up with a planned sequence of scenarios to help them achieving their goals. Check your food supplies. Long keeping winter vegetables are a wise investment and do cook them to learn how. For most of you, you've fallen into the prepared food trap. Available lake or river water could be frozen and it's seldom pure enough to drink. Water storage is wise and even that will not stay pure without special care. A camping purified pump is available with extra filters. Considering adding a first aid kit, change of clothing, etc. I strongly suggest that you take stock, make a plan, and actually put together a workable short-term emergency kit and have it in place. Once that is completed, then add a long-term necessities on a regular basis. Once this is accomplished, you can then turn your attention to the business at hand. There was an old typing class exercise. Now is the time for all good men to come to the aid of their country. It would seem to me that this is the most appropriate now. But in coming to the aid of the country, one must put him or herself in a position of confidence so that in a crisis, attention can be turned outward to those in need rather than scrambling to meet one's own personal needs. In closing our first session, I would remind you that the days of greater chaos are drawing closer in ascending quickness. Let us continue these sessions so that our clarity may increase and our messages may become truly a guiding light in the darkening of the days ahead. Sometimes it is necessary for the darkness to descend before people can be aware of a light that has been shining all along. Thus shall be coming together the true family of light bearers, to serve to vanquish the these of those with the dark intentions. Always remember things work together to bring forth that which was planned long ago, for God's plans cannot be thwarted. The duration and complexity of events can be altered if there is a faltering of faith and action on the part of those that have been placed in stations of service. None are placed who do not have the ability to accomplish their missions. Some will falter and perhaps even fail. That, of course, is a possibility, but backups are in place and things will move forward in divine order. If you trust the knowledge that there is indeed an overall plan, a larger picture, and that it will succeed, then your own courage and faith will be less likely to falter. Trust the plan and pay no attention to the day-to-day -day details. This knowingness will be your rock in which to lean your touchstone of faith. Let us begin on this new day in a quest of a new day. The people of your planet sink further into the morass of depression and suppression. There's nothing but doom and gloom reported all around them. For a lack of vision of light, all appears to be fading into darkness. The focus of attention on the devils of the dark doings does not resolve the issue. In order for light to triumph over darkness, there must be a vision of the light that translates into a recognizable reality. Let us use the birth of the United States as an example. Though we cannot cover the details, we can look at the process as it is known. There were those who came together to envision something that was different than what was currently being experienced by the planetary inhabitants. No one person brought forth a vision. It was a composite of the inspirations that were pieces of the whole. The process must be repeated again. There are those who believe that you should return to what you had before. Let us say that even that would not resolve the issues at hand. The Founding Fathers did not have instant communication. The Internet, exotic surveillance methods, under and above sea devices, as well as horrendous weapons of destruction which would to deal. You have allowed these to be created, and though you long to return to a simpler time, you will either tame these or they will destroy you. You must look past the need to merely survive the methods of trickery, designed to annihilate you and dream what you would have instead of the chaos of darkness. It is as simple as that. For as long as you choose to merely understand and only survive the onslaughts of the oppressors, you are sinking deeper into the morass. You will only rise to the top with a new vision. We cannot give you that vision. The Book of Spiritual Laws provides some guidelines, however, the vision must be simple to be powerful. It must be visual in its simplicity so that the people now surround in darkness can literally be struck with its beauty and feel called to its simplicity and clarity. How do you do this? Small group cannot do it. A nucleus must come together, and as they begin the process, others of vision will be drawn to it, in fact, literally sent. The time for the beginning of this project is not a convenient time later, but now. 
There is no time to be wasted if you are to accomplish this. To tarry will only make it more difficult and bring more suffering to the already oppressed. The window will close in literally weeks if it is not begun. I know you are caught up in the process of illuminating the details of the chaos, but what has that done to stop it? Can you actually see anything happening to change the speed of the decline? Then you must change your perspective. Look in the opposite direction. Are you part of the problem by observing it, or can you become part of the solution by looking for the building blocks of what you want instead? Begin in your meditations to ask, who would serve well in this project? This is not an esoteric process for people who are looking to give a lip service and stand on the sidelines and observe. This is for the visionary realist that may never actually observe the extent of the work they do now until the very end. These people will be able to look beyond the chaos and recognize the opportunity. I suppose you might say these are people with one foot in each world who can look into both without losing their balance. Once you start looking for them, you will find them coming into your experience in ways that may seem too unusual to be accidental. Meeting groups of three, sevens, and twelves. This is the most important step to be taken now. Know that all help possible will be given on request. Many ideas will flow through, but those of value will take root and the dream will become real. But first it must be conceived before it can be born. You need not feel total responsibility for any phase, only for the initial promotion of the idea. The hour is desperate and the plans of God hinge upon the people of service. The awareness of the need for change is well established in the consciousness of many. Now the vision must be planted that it may sprout and come to fruition. May your day be blessed with the love that is yours, for you are love in manifestation. It is your job and your privilege to focus it that God may stand forth in freedom and truth in the experience of his beloved children. It is our hope that the process being initiated will bring together a nucleus of such compatibility as to be a cohesive cell which shall mimic the bodily process of cell division. Within such a process, the spread would be quite amazing. Remember, a babe begins with the combining of just two cells and becomes a being of trillions in a matter of nine months. By the law of attraction, a universal law, this is entirely possible. Of course, the nature of the babe is determined by the birthing combination. It's the characteristics of these that shall have a profound effect upon the end project. Do not worry. Ones that should not be included won't be, but there are many that are appropriate. Just relax and allow the process to flow. Which doesn't mean that this phase is yet complete. Indeed, it's just beginning. Just setting minds to consider such a possibility will not bring commitment. You are most important in the birthing. It is those with receptive hearts that are willing to begin the process that are important. The character, openness to act beyond the confines of the present moment, the ability to make and keep commitments, the love of fellow man beyond themselves, the desire to rise above the trees to see the forest. These are the critical components for these parents. Through this process, the awakening of man, once again to the family of man is possible. The ability of man to transcend the present self-made dilemma into a new concept of experience will bring about a change, not only individually, but to all. And a ripple effect will be felt throughout the universe and cosmos. I know that this seems like a big assignment to begin from just two, but each new child is also a miracle. Its beginning is hardly auspicious, just a mass of dividing cells with no apparent organization into a miniature babe. But at a miraculous moment, the appearance of miniature is there. Inspiration shall begin the change with the focus group consciousness. The project assignment is that each new cell continues to divide. How exactly is this going to work? The first meets with two, then each meets again with two others, then each again meets again with two others until there are seven. Three plus two equals five plus two equals seven. Then that groups meet and the four additional split and create their own seven. Now the originals at that point can again begin a new cycle or drop out. The more times each individual repeats the process, the more the growth cycle accelerates. Can you see how the original organization can grow quickly without bringing great danger to the project or to the individuals? At this point, it's only the dream that is being promulgated. Then the babe takes shape at the critical point of the greater group awareness. Then the plan changes and the organs, so to speak, they began to take shape for the different functions necessary for the creation of the dream. 
since the focus is on the creation of a new experience, armaments are not a part of the picture unless danger is present. Focus is not resistance. Become forward movement into change is not factored into the detection process as presently set up by the oppressors. I shall leave you to consider what you've been told so far. Fear in the heart puts a damper on the appreciation of the wonderful gift of life. It also hardens the belief of separation and causes those wrapped up into it become deadened and wooden in their ability to perceive changes going on around them, like a cloak being wrapped around the awareness. In this way, the darkness wraps its insidious plans of subjugation and annihilation around your fellow earth beings. Now begins in earnest the movement of the light to bring an end to this situation. As with all things, it begins with the process of thought and desire to bring an end to it. In this case, the subtle, modest beginnings will go unnoticed. The opposing forces are planting their seeds of perceived invincibility everywhere. If this were real, they would not need to do so at a level of psychological campaign. Remember that humanity now numbers in the billions. That's an overwhelming number in itself. These are souls that are volunteering to be here for the benefit of this planet, and these beings have incarnated here for the purpose of experiencing the next rising, or at the least to assured success. They shall not go unrewarded. Remember that this is a play. It's difficult to get this understanding across, but in a play all you have to do is change the lines to change the scope of the play. Well, you are a fragment of the holy creation and begin changing the lines of the play. Is this an oversimplification of the situation? It would appear so from your perspective, but it, indeed it is simple as that. This project involves the formation of the group entity that can change the lines or add a new character, however you want to visualize the process. Remember, visualization involves pictures. The words that you use in your contacts with those who might become the critical parents of this entity will respond to that which stirs their imagination and their emotions. Learn from your successful political elections, which appeal to the emotions before logic. What works for this instrument of the opposition with the people can work for you also. The logical approach brings lots of rhetoric but it is that which brings visualization and emotion that incites action. What is wanted here is action, not reaction. Resorting to the use of arms against the plan for overwhelming mankind is doomed from the start. Yet the keeping of their guns by citizens of this country means their freedom is not yet gone. When those are taken, then you will see a real overwhelming realization among your people of the gravity of what surrounds them. Thus the timing is again stress. We do not mean to belabor this, but there are windows of opportunity that must be used for our advantage, for these offer the greater chance of success with the least amount of suffering for the greatest number. Insofar as grieving in regard to those that are suffering, let me assure you that the numbers of soul incarnating on this planet increases the difficulty of their plans. Note that I avoid using certain names, and you would be wise to do that after all. Within your circle, the exact entity of the forces can be assumed as known. Their role is well known to them before they incarnate. They don't remember it now, of course. But they come to assure the success of the process of our mission. Does that assure you of the importance of the Earth in the total scheme of the grand picture? I would think so. In the initial meetings of small groups, no one visualization is likely to appeal to all. So one suggestion shall be given as guidance. Ask, and it shall be given. A composite will emerge that will provide the appeal when participation reaches a critical stage. This diversity will aid in the masking of the process. You are well connected, so do not be concerned about this aspect. Use the visualization of dominoes standing on end and arrange in a pattern so that one is made to fall, all will follow in rapid progression. It has great application to our meaning and bringing an identifying tie to their plan process. It is resistance to recognizing the situation and more resistance to being responsible for the changing of it, as well as the induced feeling of the overwhelm that blocks the participation of the majority. The willingness to be responsible for personal conduct and change the focus of perception is buried within the busy, frantic schedules of daily existence. Individuals finding solace in their excuses for not confronting the growing signs of coming oppression, breaking down this line of resistance and drawing as many of these into the new pattern of life remains the goal. 
Those of the dark plan have set their focus to overwhelm many human beings with plans to resist and have preconceived plans ready to move to the crushing of the resistance. However, there are none for the coming of a new vision. But it leaves that opening available to us, in fact, the ideal opening. Our plan is not to fix the old, but to create the new. There will always be the repetition of certain ingrained habitual thoughts, hopefully not to the point of nausea. The skill of speaking, and indeed even thinking, discreetly on the subject of those with the plans contrary to the will of creation, will aid in helping those to bring the style of referred to them in their usage. The more variety in the application of presenting the subject being discussed, the better. It is easy for focus groups to get right to the point, but this will not serve in the long run. It might be appropriate to point out that a linear progression within the scope of this project would not always be apparent. Divine order is the order of the day, and divine order does not follow man's idea of sequence at all. You have to set up certain unspoken subconscious rules to give sequential order to your experience. The forces of God do not have to follow sequence to have organization. Therefore, it's important that once the process is initiated to a critical point, then you must trust in its completion of itself without the ego control so familiar to each of you. This is imperative, lest you monkey wrench your own dream. Our cooperative effort, and that's what it is, must begin, continue at the end with focus on a completed goal. It's the composite of dreams of what a utopian world would be like one that is would truly like to experience that will bring this to pass. This is the opposite of the resistance that is expected. How much time do each of you spend in this utopian daydreaming process? Survival daydreams are more the norm in the group that we are depending upon for this formative process. Granting such a thing as easy, Earth-compatible energy sources are part of that dream. For luxuries of easy living are not appealing sacrifices for freedom of oppression. This is what is automatically supposed will be the cost of such change. Would a new paradigm of experience be without comforts? Different comforts, probably, but I doubt anyone will feel any regrets for giving up the present situation. This again is a resist or de shut backwards thought process that must be abandoned. That you want what will make your experience even better is a given, and it should be assumed. It must also be assumed that there must be a short period necessary to endure in order for this change to happen. But it can be shorter than you might imagine. When this pivotal project is accomplished, our help is not only allowed, it is mandated. It is the beginning think tank discussion that will bring about the beginning of the change of expectation to an ever-expanding group. Think of a stone tossed into a pond. The ripples reach out to an effect a greater and greater area. We call it a critical point. You referred to it as the hundredth monkey theory. Think of a counter-thought group as having to send the ripples in from the outside to the middle. Remember that they are creating what is not in accordance with the laws of God. Their concentration is toward containment while your focus is toward the rippling outward. Now, which one of you think works better? When these ripples meet, what happens? If we are using the same pond water, which one is likely to overwhelm the other? especially if the stone that is dropped is becoming larger and larger in what might be called interpreted to be slow motion. Remember there are vibrational effects that are and will be brought into being that cannot be observed by you. Each time the thought pattern is focused towards the goal it becomes further intensified. As it intensifies it becomes more magnetic and attraction begins to build. You are not likely to surprise any of the contexts. What you are more likely to hear is that it has been in their thoughts already, but they just hadn't made the effort to follow through with its implication. The process will become appealing and challenging when you begin to dream of ways to use the mechanisms put in place for the use of those of opposite intentions. Doesn't that sound intriguing? Rather than destroy and resist, it might be possible to use some of what they have in their place for your own intentions. You have focusing powers that are capable of many things when there is group participation, and a few innovations of your own can be added. Remember the pipe that sends vibrations to the crops and fields? Ever wonder what else is capable of doing? You might be surprised. Even the sound embedded in Dan Carlson's music tapes for the growth of plants might be interesting in the presence of their focus vibrations. Just a thought or two about what you already have.
The light begins to change at focus, and if the window changes in what would be considered depth, as layers of intentional activity will be added, the focus becomes more intense in the area on which it is aimed. Now this can be an advantage, as it can bring to the focus to a great clarity. That the cloak of darkness appears to you to be getting more intense can have its positive aspects. The closing of the noose is not as unobserved by the masses as you might think. Intuitive feelings are becoming aroused. The critical mass of awareness is being aroused, and the other side is well aware of this. Remember there's a weak link within their plan. They are going to demand that their army of militia turn on their own people, indeed their own friends and family. That is the key point on which there will be reactions that they cannot predict. This allows openings in their plan. They seem minor to you in your consideration, but these can be used to great advantage for sometimes. A moment is all the focus of light may need. Ours will not be a plan of resistance. It will be a plan of lifting up of a vision into manifestation through the minds of many. When a picture of what has been carefully planned for them is repulsive enough to their imaginations, don't you think that they will turn with enthusiasm to a vision that thrills them? Remember, there will be those who will choose otherwise. There will be a division. There will be enough that have been either won over or will be lost in the desire of continuing to experience the menu which has been fed to them in the media barrage directed at them. This will be the point you will have to deal with, as will all that will join in this plan for transcending the decayed into the new birthing opportunity. All will not choose to join. And here you must recognize the free choice of experience given to each. It is not so much hardening of your heart toward them as an attitude of allowance. Remember there is no death. Only the end of an experience and eternity is incomprehensible. It is not for any of you to judge what the experience of each individual means to the completion within each soul. The soul draws to itself a composite and makes of these experiences patterns that dazzles the imagination. The dance of duality, darkness, and light, as you will, are part of the play. You must not become disheartened at any time, for there will be those of you who will surprise you. It is for you to keep your eye on the vision and to watch it unfold into creation from your limited perspective. That too will be fascinated. How will you know? It will be difficult in the birthing phase, for in the beginning the process of a babe hardly looks like anything more than a maze of individual cells with no apparent organization. At the critical point, that miraculous changes into form. Then the challenges of preventing an abortion will become a dual focus. However, that too shall be handled. Remember this, as you begin to help yourselves, more and more cooperation for various forms of manifested light can assist in ways you and even I cannot imagine and may never be privy to know about. It is a focus on the vision that shall attract this assistance towards success. We can continue to present this information to you, but there also can be some discussion. Questions can be asked as long as they pertain to the process at this point. No divining allowed, just focus on one stage at a time. What your continuing role shall be as a plan unfolds will be revealed as each day arise. There is no already existing vision except for in a dim outline that is set up by the influence of the universal laws. At the time of filling in these outlines, those will be made known to the founding parents in very simplistic terms. This will be the order of the day for the entire project. How is that going to be possible? Within the contributions of the vision by many? Trust the process. The planet is experienced on an entirely different level than it was when the founding fathers of the U.S. followed this same path. Note this time it was the founding parents, and that in itself is a raising of the level of experience. Both energy shall be present, and it shall make for double energy focus. Though women know the last time, and support it as allow, theirs was not a contributory role except as an outside influence. Neither shall dominate, for the vision must move beyond such selfishness and bring upon a synergistic wholeness. At this point, you must not concern yourself with the manifestation of their plan. You know of it. You are expecting it, and so it must be ignored. Your focus must be on the moment and what is to be done. If that what you do now puts you in danger, perhaps you should begin laying plans for doing something different. Not yet in this moment, but soon. Perhaps this surface activity cycle is drawing to a close. 
It's only a suggestion to be considered, though you already have toyed with it. We leave it to your discretion. Corporate business will be allowed for activities that do not make big waves. Opportunities shall appear for your consideration. Travel shall be safe for a time yet. If you miss a plane or a flight is canceled, take it within your stride. There may be many reasons apparent in retrospect as why you were not to be on a particular mode of transportation. When travel is no longer safe, you will know. The focus of your intent now is to work within the activities of the parenting process. There is much being done to bring into concrete experience the truth of the statement that the unseen world is more real than the one is seen by the mass consciousness of the planet now. These concrete demonstrations of the nature of this unseen causal effect are not only stimulating awareness, but bringing forth the opportunity to use this knowledge to encourage the visioning of the process that together we are beginning to bring forth. How's that for talking all the way around the subject? It helps to bring it out of the realm of wishing into realization that there is a way to counter their methods without adopting them. The work is to be done is not at this third dimensional level of resistance. But as I've emphasized before, at the causal level of creating what is another focus entirely. The reality of possibility of this process has already been demonstrated in fields that indicate these processes can be adopted and focused in accordance with what is needed. The already proven success of these theories adds the inspiration needed to bring forth the birthing activity. It is recommended that the messages be held for those who would be encouraged to join the birthing process in the immediate future. These people will quickly see the correlation, and of course some are already in the awareness of some or all of its contents. A basic awareness of both sides of the forces present is needed, and that information is available and necessary that it be known to those selected as the parents of this process. It is also a human weakness to assume that what is known to one is also known to all. Details are not necessary, but an overview would be helpful with an available catalog of well-documented information for those desiring a more comprehensive understanding in areas not familiar to them. The processes mentioned in the message are, of course, known to those engaged in this broad research, and these strive to be merely known, but not to create a situation that will bring public awareness. At that point, their existence is a threat to the powers that assume invincibility. These would then be in a precarious situation as the news titans. Their importance cannot be stressed enough. This is the reality check needed to assure the success of the understanding that these higher vibrational realities need to be pulled into the experience on this planet. As the message reveals, the comfort zone under threat can bring violent reactions, not only in circles of opposition, but among the general public. The opposition at its higher levels know that it is threatened by a possible collapse of its operation from the inside out. The mass consciousness is merely reacting in a Pavlov's dog faction. Possibility thinking is not acceptable. Herein lies the need for careful movements within the project and until the critical mass is reached. That is why the approach to the plan must be by word of mouth to known individuals who then take the responsibility of approaching those who they know have the proper sympathetic awareness and desire to see the situation change. The ability to identify with the changes to be made at levels beyond the five senses of experience must be paramount in the beginning parenting process. It isn't the number of people involved at this stage, but the quality of the awareness that is important. The ability to possibly think, the openness to expansion of awareness, and the ability to assimilate and postulate into new synthesis, the known and known knowns of critical importance. In other words, choose carefully. <laughs> With that step clearly in mind, the proliferation will take care of itself. The clarity of the first combinations will set the stage for the entire process. It is interesting that the power of thought has brought us to the meeting point of consciousness. This is a process of intent focused towards a mutual purpose. It is the bringing together a purposeful intent that is the magic of shared manifestation. It is evident in the perceived world that surrounds you in the positive and negative forms. Now that the plan is to raise that process to a higher level, to engage known processes to further your exploration in the process of manifestation, it's a matter of intention that brings forth the knowledge to be able to do this from a vantage point of awareness of the essential elements to ensure completion. This need not be done through blind faith in an unknown process. 
This would encourage an attrition rate that would ensure failure. It's a matter of making the data available to the conscious awareness and allowing it to percolate. The inspiration for application will come forth into understanding. Manifestation is not a haphazard, lucky combination of synchronistic meetings. There are specific already existing procedures in place available to be used. It is a matter of bringing these purposely into the awareness, and then the creative imaginations will trigger the appropriate applications. The luck of the draw is simply too risky to be relied on in this project. Here again, the stress remains on the careful choices for the parenting operation. It's not desired to belabor this point, but it's awesomely important. Ours is the most important combination of massaging your consciousness and stimulating your concerns without bringing forth panic. We are finding this to be a skill that is most rewarding. It is indeed bringing upon the desired results. You are not just the only ones which this process is being applied. Just know that all that can be done from this level is being done. It is in the actual movement from the point of inertia that will allow this beyond the scene help to aid in bringing forth the manifestation of the plan. Remember, the birthing process begins with the dance of desires and culminates in an apparent miracle through processes that can go on for most of the part beneath the level of conscious awareness. These processes are not haphazard, but proceed with exacting synthesis of multiple complicated interactions. If there was an original plan for this commonplace happening, then don't you think there's a plan for one as important as this one is also in place? If you do not need to be aware of the functions relating to the birth process to a child to complete itself, then do you need to know all the processes that will happen in this project? The human birthing process would not happen if certain physical actions did not take place to initiate its beginning. What is being emphasized here is that you understand you will not shepherd the whole process to its conclusion. Neither do we want you to think you will be left out of the project once it is initiated. Indeed, you will be included in ways that are not in the most freewheeling of your imagination at the moment. In this case, we encourage you to trust the process and continue to be available for you all are needed. You did not sign on for a short-term assignment. Let us continue now by moving on to other subjects that are, of course, related. It is important to keep a balance in the stretch of your understanding of the commitment to the transcendence of the planet and its inhabitants. Know that this is hardly a single-handed commitment, but the agreed-upon commitment of a countless number of beings who are not strangers to the process. In this level, the energy of this particular planet has reached a level of heaviness that is challenging, to say the least. But after all, you must know that all of you thrive on challenge, and this is no exception. However, this time it is not a game, for failure would have serious implications beyond the mere suffering of incarnated beings. This, of course, is known to you at your deepest levels, so it's not meant as a threat. In this case, we are allowing greater discretion to assist, and we are stretching it to the utmost in order to initiate the beginnings of this project. Much planning has gone into the methodology. With contingencies covered for the art of improvisation, is not limited to third-dimensional experience. It is known that a certain lack of sincerity exists within the realms of those who present themselves as leading the resistance to the planned changes. In this case, either these will find themselves involved in other activities or you'll have a distinct knowingness regarding the appropriateness of their inclusion. The identity of some of these might come as a surprise, but again, you are connected to a point now that you will know in a moment when it is necessary to be cautious. Most of what is included today in this contact is known to you. It is yet not possible to reveal details for two reasons. The proper sequences are not yet in place, and this line of communication is not at a level for those to come through. All possible is being done to prepare this last phase so that there will be a coordination of these elements. Again, we ask your patience and that you trust the process, redundant as it may seem. As you say, just hang in there. The situation is this. Time is the primary element used to recognize placement within the third dimension. However, the veil between dimensions is thinning. As the awareness grows of the availability of the fourth and even fifth dimension processes for usage in this third dimensional realm, this veil will begin to thin even more. The new focus might include elements of the higher dimensions. How to do this? Thought moves between dimensions as long as the thought is within those dimensional parameters. 
Third dimensional parameters allow for interfering with development of others. It allows for the forcing of one will upon another. Above that dimension, all are allowed freedom to develop without this interference. Personal responsibility is a keynote of existence. Contrary to the mass consciousness appearance of the lack of development at this level, it's there, simply smothered by the barrage of mind control techniques. However, those techniques are not successful as it might appear. If these were, then the massive physical control that is being put into place would not be necessary. If these were, then there would be no problem of what to do about what they see as overpopulation. There would be masses of people falling like lemons into the sea. What is becoming a rising tide is the groundswell of feeling of people longing for this personal freedom. Through the moving of jobs from your country, people have found that they can create for themselves new opportunities however nebulous they may be within the communications dream of non-production. This success within planned failure has tweaked the creative word within many, thus the proliferation of home-based businesses. It is the glimmering of personal successes that has sparked a surge with even the most oppressed of the beings in your country, meaning the welfare recipients. This information is not stayed within the boundary of this country, it has always been alive in countries of great poverty, for we're not more would have starved long ago. This longing for freedom will be fanned into a blaze by dream and then simplicity. It will be this new conception that will live the spirits of those who will hear and the lift will be literal. The inner prayer of the longing heart shall be answered and the reaction to it, it will not be stopped. It cannot be reached by third dimensional methods for those who try to apply them will simply be left as helpless as was the dark plan for the people. Once the critical point of awareness is reached, support of the new paradigm will take the planet forward as a whole. The ascension of the New Age dreamers is one of the individual flights into the clouds, but this shall be a planetary change. Your Bible mentions two standing in a field and only one is taken. The person who wholeheartedly believes in the dream shall accompany the dream. The parents of this dream must have the understanding. The third dimensional parameters must be transcended and thought must be focused into the higher expectations of a new dimension. Trust in the personal responsibility of its citizens will be the key to the foundation of that new perception. It is a password, so to speak, for the entry into this experience. Honesty and forthrightness are practiced without question. Your 23rd Psalm translation misrepresented this by the word righteousness, which was given the meaning of judgmental attitude, in particular, the actions of others. Instead, it was meant that each was to be responsible to live rightly within the personal focus of their life attitudes and actions. This was the result in finding the gains of inappropriate action will not work if no one else will play by these rules. There can be no victims and no martyrs if no one will play the game. This may sound naive considering the chaos around you, but that's the difference. That is the leap that must be made to the assumption that humanity is a critical mass that is ready to assume this shift in perception. The prophet noted that the expense of all others has not left the utopia. Man in true perspective is a radiant being, meaning created to give outward expression of the Creator's love. Not to live as a usurper with only the intent of drawing all towards himself as depicted by material experience. The experiment of this has left him hollow and unfulfilled. This shall be the opportunity to experience what will satisfy and fill his heart cup to running over. How can you paint this vision with the color of emotion that shall magnetize all that hear it and catch up into the movement toward it? Intent shall be the alchemical ingredient. And the Creator's love of his children shall spread butter upon the path to convert the old adage to a different focus. It can be done. It shall be done. On that, you can place your life's focus and trust. The etheric winds of change are in motion and the momentum is building. Do you think there is anything that can stand against the creator of the game in the first place? It cannot be so. Welcome to the winning side. Oh, isn't that a wonderful greeting? This seems like a logical place in which to end this exchange of thought. Open your hearts and feel the love that is given to you for your trust and acceptance of our combined path in this marvelous adventure of adventures. How will we top this one? It is not for us to know yet. The movie The Siege contained heavy subliminal messaging. Just one point, remember that it is used the Constitution to resolve the difficulty. 
However, their intention is to use executive orders, so there is no constitution for it. Will there be a judge with authority to stand against a dark organization? The realization of that will quickly demoralize the people. That was another sleeping pill of greater magnitude than you realize. Asking for shielding and for discernment was quite effective, and it will be most helpful to use it as the situation progresses. It is something that will need to be done by each, and not something that can be done for a group by one person. Again, we go back to the law of individual responsibility. It will be necessary for you to know that the planetary consciousness is changing. Let us compare this to a breathing pattern. It is though the planet is changing its steady intervals of inhale and exhale to an irregular pattern of a deeper inhale as compared to the exhale of gathering of internal energies. That is an area of our discussion that has not been covered. The planet too shall participate in the plan to change the situation. Remember that all manifestation at all levels is the result of the projection of thought into malleable ethers, your name for creative potential. And that thought is interactive within itself in the ability to maintain balance. You can perceive that you are beginning to experience a focus of change in a cooperative energy vibration. This has the potential to synchronize the inhabitant consciousness to blend with that of the planet as a whole. Perhaps this will allow you to begin to understand why we belabor the point of importance of the parenting cell being of the consciousness that will produce this blending vibratory ratio. There will be a quickening of the latent emotional connections to the planetary consciousness, not to the suffering on her part because of the mankind's infliction of selfishness and greed, but to the area of consciousness desire for change to a new and different experience. Remember this is not the first civilization to experience here, and you do not know the history of these previous scenarios. Just as you experience and learn, so also is this repeated in the evolution of the planet as a whole. Here you begin to see the damming up of energy that is occurring now. When a hole in this dam is released in a direction that the whole of this energy can blend into cohesively, then there can be a release that will flush away the infection and bring about healing of marvelous proportion. Just as the journey begins with the first step, so also this begins with the tiny hole in the dam by the formation of the first cells of the birthing process. It is not yet clear exactly what the planetary involvement will be as it depends upon the blend of energy that the parents part of the process that is contributed by humanity. It's the key that unlocks the whole of the project. We of course have observed various scenarios of possible energy combinations similar to your computer projections and find that each brings forth a vastly different combination of possible reactions. Each leads to a similar end conclusion not only in different combinations of similar elements, actions, and reactions, but in different elements, actions, and reactions entirely. Therefore, definite conclusions cannot be made even from this perspective. Isn't that interesting? We think so. Thus, once the selections are made and the first cells begin to act in the creation of the possible dream scenarios, it will still not be possible to project much clarity of it until it, the dream scenario, becomes clear in the minds of these groups as a whole. Can we guide this process based on our test projections? We wish we could, but that would be an unacceptable interference. In this case, the guidance will have to come from a higher source than we are. There's little doubt that the highest of high is most interested in what is happening here, and that source will be available for the exact help that's needed. These miniature planetary think tanks will be allowed to play with possibilities, but the request for high source help will no doubt have much powerful input in the completion of this process. I can assure you that this level knows mankind to its very core and will guide the process, but there must first be the movement beyond desire into active thought projection for the purpose of manifesting this new experience. After the creative dreams of possibilities, then follows the purposeful focus process to place the skeletal outline into place. The great reward will be the painting in of the details of the experience of what you have created. The joy of this part of the process will be wonderful indeed. The mantra of this project must be, in God we trust. You cannot trust manifested mass conscious beliefs. The seeds of death for your fellow human beings are beyond the planted seed stage and into sprouting and rapid growth. There has been one salvation from this trap. It is in the service to and total trust in the way through this situation 
There's not a way out. There's only the way through. The subtle difference is not apparent, but it is indeed of great importance. Out implies resistance. Through implies movement through toward a greater goal lying beyond. Just as one does not get out of a mountain pass, but must move through it, so must you identify with a subtle different application. Mankind falls into the dream of a great leader being raised up in consciousness to lead it out of this or any other dilemma. It cannot be. It must be by the inspiration of visualization of a way of life that fills the empty void of their consciousness that the political, scientific, and religious dogma of the past and the present has brought to each. The realization that only their own desire to participate following a personal conscious decision will lead them through this experience to what awaits beyond. Man's an adventurous being, loving the challenge. This desire for personal adventure has been diverted into the false desire for safety, the assurance of limited risk of insurance. Remember the Navy posters appealed to the young men by offering the adventure of sailing to unknown ports only end up with the wooden guns guarding a metal-faced enclosure such as did Bill Cosby? Military combat is represented as an adventurous activity, but is not on a personal responsibility level. Each activity is planned out not by the individual, but by the layers of officers. Yet military heroes are those in the moment of need, act on their own to accomplish a deed at great risk to themselves. For the public at large, risk is left to such things as the risk of death on snowboards, skiing on possible avalanche areas, swimming in possible riptide areas, climbing steep mountains, etc. These too shall be cut off to further stifle the soul into greater limitation. The pen of feelings are then channeled into destructive outlets of wars, gangs, rape, pillage, and other activities contrary to the purpose of manifest of life. This leads mankind from its original purpose of finding the connection and the path of return to the Creator. You already know this, so what's the point of this discussion? This is so that you might recognize the feelings that are prevalent, especially among young people. What change is experienced when you remember there's no plan to lead the human experience in the opposite direction, into the promised land of true personal adventure, in dealing with the realms of personal self? This is what is being experienced in the greater manifested reality, but an enlarged mirror of what is actually taking place within. The identified 300 are but 300 focused tricks of those distorted egos given free reign through the manipulation of their minds. All effort has been made to assist individuals on the personal level to realize this. Now the manifestation of the evil misunderstanding and misuse must be dealt with with by the extreme methods of bringing forth a movement to halt this process on the same level as has been achieved by the misused egos of the dark ones. This has occurred by the process of the ego empowering itself into areas contrary to its purpose. This process has reached proportions of imbalance which endangers the integrity of the galaxy universe. Extreme measures have been sanctioned by the Creator to bring this back into balance. Because of the love of the Creator for this fragments, all possible means to return these into equilibrium are being used. Some shall be indeed denied and manifested life experience for what you would term long periods of time. As many opportunities to turn from their focus of separation have been given them, others shall be continued their lessons in other situations for they are but innocently duped during the experience they choose by incarnating here. Those who have true intent and purpose shall move through the experience by their choices of participation within bringing forth this manifestation of the new creation scenario. This group focused demonstration will carry a power of transformation that will be thrilling indeed. It's a gift of the Creator. This shall be a blessing and a gift of grace through a profound love focused beyond all previous experience. To this shall the raising of the planet occur. Its transcendence shall ripple through all of creation allowing new levels of the experience. The transcending participants will enjoy the rewards of participating within this completion. The mercy and grace available within the loving focus of the Creator is included within the infinity of His love. The finite mind is unable to fathom this, but there shall be an expansion of the ability to encompass this to a greater degree within the focus of human experience and expression within the changing of this dimension. Even the dimensions shall change through this scenario so that all consciousness shall be thrilled by the new experience and be further awakened. 
Now does the greeting welcome to the winning sign carrying new meaning? Indeed. The intent of these messages is to deepen the resolve and give all possible support to the task upon your plate. May your hearts be inspired to continue your devoted participation with the blessing of all beings of light involved in this project. Your Bible has a saying, and she pondered this in her heart, an apt way of putting it. May you open your consciousness to experience the love that surrounds, inspires, and protects you on this day.